Well, best you're not allowed in this place. Yeah, go for it, yeah. All right, so we have our main garage tank over there. So it's, you know, all our tiles. It's our main colony down that way. So you can see we got coral going vertical, sideways, raised, lowered, just kind of everywhere. But this is where we're going to cut from. So all these plugs right here, just pop them out, cut them real quick, and pop them back in. And then before they hit our website, you go into this tank here. You can see we have no rows of the same pieces. They heal here for about two weeks before they're go on all our website and be sold. And when they go to our website, you'll see there's different skewed sections. So this whole tank is all skewed sections. So once they're in there for two weeks, we then move them over here, and that's when they get posted to our website. Cool. And your average pH at the moment is uh, 8.3, I believe, yeah? Yep. You can see we got monster colonies down the bottom. Zoa cluster. You know, a lot of our zoas just get overrun, grow faster than we can sell them, so they just kind of mush in together. Um, come down here, you have a lot of LPS, softies down here as well. So this is part of the sump, I believe, is that correct? Yep, so yep. basically each row is going to be this whole system, but um, the sump over there can handle a non fit really. Something that's really just an extra water bottle at the end of the day, so might as well throw a coral in there. Uh, we do this also where we do for our sand. So this system does have a lot of sand in that egg chamber, but yep. these two tanks are bare bottle. They okay. do have rock in them, yep. but you have to get that extra sand because it is a big water system. You get that extra biology and you know, bacteria in there. We do put it into something for all our systems. Sure. This is the area that you're going to like. It was a little dirty, it's the weekend, so it's, we only have our one farm staff. Uh, during the week, we do have a full-time staff, about 10 people. Uh, their only job, they don't talk to customers, clean, test parameters, frag, that's all they do. Do you run, do you run UVs on these systems? Yeah, you do, yeah? Yeah, the UVs. Oh. <laughs> uh, little tiny UV for this system. This is gonna be a lot of Montes, a lot of you know. This is gonna be a lot of our wholesale stuff. Stuff we just have you know plethora of. So it's gonna be a lot of birds' nests, stylos, Montes, stuff like that. In the system. There is gonna be some tenuous. Yep. See back there, we got a bunch of them. You can tell they're all kind of like nuggets because we frag them so much that yes. like they don't. They usually don't grow that arm back, so they just kind of form into a ball at some point. So we have to wait and slow down when we're fragging them. You have some serious flow in this tank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of the Monty, just overgrown. Um, and this corner is just, just craziness over here. Wow. It's actually chopped back. <laughs> it's yeah, used, I got it. that. Just everywhere. Yeah, like this is gonna be a lot of stuff in these every system except for that one and then the three on the far side are all everything else is fully quarantined. Yeah. So it has to go through a three month process of fragging, you know, replugging, inspections, re gluing, dips. You know, it's a really big process to end up in any of these systems. So all your frags uh, that have been purchased from your shops are gonna be pest free? Yeah, so there is gonna be uh, there's some tanks obviously that come from er other areas, but we have those two rows. There's the main acro tank, and then that one system when you first come in, those two rows are the 100% pest resistance. Right, yeah. 
We've had this building for about five years now. Yep. So we started setting everything up, but then finally we got this system yeah. over here finally. Uh, but this is the original farm. So you'll see the end cap, the other side. Uh -huh. It's all like the oldest pieces that we've been having. Wow. It's all like the So this is the motherland back here. Wow. So you're going to see pieces like Rocky Balboa, Rainbow Fusion, Acrolandia. There is some super polyp extension yeah, on this. Uh, right oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, I mean, you can see the top. There's some serious blood up in these tanks. There's a cherry bomb colony somewhere that just has the most insane polyp extension. Yeah, the, the fuzz gets some really nice polyp extension. Oh, so, um, wow. So yeah. this is a quarantine area, is it? Is it a quarantine area? No, this is just another, it's, just, it's a lot of stuff that we don't really farm in here. Okay. Um, my stuff, like we ever do our just insanity tours over here. It's a big colony. Um, but like if we have people that trade in stuff, so, like we... Yeah. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> Definitely his haircut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might as well be an LPS. Oh. <laughs> Check out the polar extensions. So this is probably the best example of how we run the farm. So like this is the main grow out system. There's a whole bunch of rags in here. All up. And then we move down to the skew section where you'll find them all on. Obviously our colonies get pretty big, so the colonies have kind of moved into the other tanks, but for the most part, that's the system. Sure, okay. You run your lights very blue, yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's usually a lot whiter in the mornings. I okay. Mean, some of these tanks, like the ones over there, they still have metal halides on them. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, these ones still have T5s. There's metal halides on these tanks as well. Uh, metal halides, I believe, run three times a week. Um, it's still just the best way to grow with speed, especially in a farm setting. Like, you need speed, but the LEDs just get different colors, so it's a nice combo of the two. World's fattest combo tank. So there's no secret sauce? Honestly, no. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think, yeah. I think we just, we just have a really dedicated staff. Yeah. They, you know, they play their roles very well, and Everyone kind of knows their spot and knows their job actually well. We we have a really vigorous hiring process. Uh, I was even rejected my first time when I was, yeah. And then I went to another store and became a manager of another store, which is a much more unique experience than just being a hobbyist, like learning just kind of small intricates in the industry. It's a lot, you know, it's a bigger step up than just you know being a hobbyist. Would you say that pH is key? No. No. Okay. For acros, yeah. 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 The vast majority of everybody else, yeah. uh, I couldn't tell you what the pH in any of my tanks are. I don't think I've ever even measured it, honestly. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I think alkalinity is probably the most yeah. important. Alk and nitrate. Yeah. Alk, nitrate, phosphate are the only things I test in my tanks. And if you don't want me to ask you what your nutrients levels are your acros? In my personal or in here? Oh, in here? In here, uh, they keep them at 15, for, uh, 15 to 20 for nitrates, yep. about 0.1 for phosphate. 0.1 for phosphate, okay. I 
so this is like the OG tank, so everything in here has been in captivity for many, many years. The world's biggest Bill Murray colony center. Bill Murray. <laughs> the top shelf classic. Never ending. But this is kind of my favorite tank at the bottom. It's a real nice mix of you know rainbow right. chalices. Ah. That's what I really like personally. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my favorite of all the chalices. Uh, we got chalices, Fabias, Noah's down here. These chalices are very slow to grow, but is that correct? I, I think they've gotten faster, but it's still not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. This is yeah. my... <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just a crazy mix down in this thing. I would say this whole system is just really cool, so... And for these chalices, you've got... What crazy flow on them? Is that... It's not super, super yeah. intense. I mean, it's definitely less than the acros, but I mean, you gotta have an MP60 for you know, yeah. the for the Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, so this system is gonna be most of our LPS aquaculture. The two systems from either side do a lot of our intake stuff. So torches are obviously on the slower side. So you're gonna have a lot of torches over on these tanks. Yep. Uh, you got rock flowers. Like some people don't really grow that much. So this is for nutrients control, is it? Yep. So this is gonna be dragon's breath down there. Wow. Dragon's breath and chino. And then just a school of monos as well. Sure. <laughs> Stores 